Hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Ty Sheree, Bay. What's up? What's up? I hope you guys are well. I know y'all haven't seen me in a minute, but I am here. So let me get in on this situation with Peach and her mama. But y'all, y'all don't know nothing about no LaShawn Pace. I know I've been changed. So the reason why I picked that selection, brethren, is because Peach's mom, Tracy, was saying that she was trying to change her life and you know move differently but that wasn't the case this past weekend at the hard rock casino so y'all i was like what in the world is going on here so there's just a multitude of situations that i've seen that it has me scratching my head because i feel like you know nobody wins when the family feuds you know like beyonce and jay-z you know I'm just like, wow, like this woman really was outside in these streets fighting. So guys, so from my perspective, I was thinking, wow, why was these young women just trying to come for Peach's mom? So I've seen, you know, some commentary. And before I really knew exactly what was going on, I saw that the reason that the fight incurred was due to uh, the ladies, the two young women, um, that they were talking about how they was, I guess, upset at the way Peach's mom had treated her when she was younger. But so comes along today, and I've seen the TikTok video of the two ladies. If you haven't seen it, it's on TikTok. You know, I was listening to their story, so y'all know there's always a trilogy, two sides and the truth. So, you know, we've heard variations of the story from Tracy because I believe she went live that night and also from the two young ladies. So there was a vast difference in the story. But the main thing was was that, you know, it was centered around Peach in regards to one of the young ladies was saying that, you know, she had a tumultuous relationship with her mom and they, you know, was talking and blase, blase. But, um, you know, coming from Tracy, I'm like, it seems as though she was trying to allude to the fact that they just, you know, came up to her um, knowing who she was and who Peach was. But again, the girls were like, they didn't even know who Tracy's mama was. I mean, Peach's mom was, nor did they know who Peach was, but the young lady that had on the denim outfit said she knew, you know, who Peach was. So we don't know, guys. But from my perspective, I'm thinking what happened previously? Like, how did it get from them just talking calm to them, you know, getting into the altercation. So I was thinking, you know, if Miss Tracy was saying that she was trying to change, sometimes you have to be the change. Sometimes I know our adrenaline, you know, gets to go in and be ready for war. But, you know, at the end of the day, you have to just think, you know what I'm saying? Like, how is this going to affect my livelihood? Like, how is this going to affect me personally? Like, how is it going to affect, you know, everything that surrounds me? And I know for sure, I know I'm a hothead sometimes and I have to give myself, you know, I have to pinch myself literally not to, you know, go off. And that's just me. Sometimes you got to learn mechanisms because people are going to try you and they're going to say things and do things. But, you know, we have to rise above it. And, um, you know, I know that's easier said than done. But at the end of the day, I just feel like this situation 
definitely shouldn't have happened and again i know people have different perspectives about what's really going on but you know i just find like when you overshare like peach did i just feel like that just leaves the door open for people to have opinions and you know to hate the other party or don't like the other party or just want to fight because y'all know like when we listen to the news there be situations that happen and we be ready to go to war but even know we don't even know these people it's just a situation that happened so i'm just like lord her mercy but again you know miss tracy you know she's of a certain age and i just feel like that's not a good look to be fighting but at the end of the day you can move somebody out the hood but you can't take the hood out of them you know and i know that this has been you know a situation that has been long going it has been brewing for a while and i just feel like peach at this point in time i i just don't get her because at the end of the day if somebody put hands on you know one of my family members or something like that you know i'm just gonna be like yeah nah but it seems like she's okay with it um you know i just feel like you know the mother and daughter relationship is severed but it can be whole again i just feel like both parties really just need to sit down and maybe talk with a third person a therapist to help work through some of the trials and tribulations that they are going through because at the rate they going somebody gonna get hurt and i'm not i don't want to see that because there's a lot of children involved there's a lot of hurt you know and a lot of things that i hear from peach um, I just feel as though, you know, she definitely feels a way, you know, and I'm not knocking, you know, anything that she's been through. I don't know if she's been through it or not, but it's the things that she say. But at the end of the day, I'm thinking, how do you forgive your husband for a lot of things he did, but your own mother, you can't forgive her because we all are an imperfect Per people, you know, we're all imperfect in some type of way, but and I'm not trying to make any excuses for you know, Miss Tracy, but maybe Miss Tracy wasn't parented in a way that you know that she could provide a stable and loving relationship when she had her kids you know and things are a cycle you know sometimes it's time to break the cycle and you know peach has seven children and i'm sure they're privy to a lot of things that are going on at their young ages and you know i just hope and pray that they would be the ones to be able to, you know, bring peace to the um, family. And I feel like siblings, you know, that's not cool at all. I feel like in this day and age, like we all need to be a solid family unit. And I know that things have happened, but it seems like Peach, in my opinion, she just really, I don't know if she's like a marketing genius or she just don't give a damn at all it's even like she just don't give a damn at all i just feel like you know the money really has a chokehold on her and i feel like you know by any means necessary that she'll you know get to the bag and that's sad y'all comment down below and let me know your thoughts about that because i would not air my family's business out for people to come in and say what they want to say do what they want to do like that's just not how you do things and now you know that we have social media because if some of you guys the same age i am y'all already know we didn't have this type of stuff like a lot of stuff was kept in house um you know people knew about it it was due to you know it's like a small circle not like the whole world knowing about it so you know she's been getting into it with her sister um and her brother and you know i know as children we see things like a lot differently if that makes sense because sometimes you know we go through things and how we remember it like nobody could tell us any different so i'm just hoping and praying you know that tracy and peach really could just squash all of this and 
be a family unit because again nobody wins when the family feuds and i just feel like at the end of the day it's just craziness and i'm hoping that it doesn't escalate to somebody you know getting hurt physical altercations have already happened not between peach and her mom i think i'm, I'm not sure if they had got into it uh previously or not but y'all y'all just comment down your thoughts i just had to come on and you know give my little two cents about it but at the end of the day i just feel like peach needs to probably take a break just try to figure things out because the route that she's going now it ain't gonna end well and she has all this heat for her mama like, where is it for wood you know i know she says this lady has seven kids and is about is gonna divorce her husband like that stuff but i really don't think that she's gonna divorce him uh, because that's all she knew but then y'all i was like wait a minute because i was under the impression too that uh wood was the only person like she had intimate relationships with so it come to find out that i heard allegedly that she didn't know who her son's father was at the time the 11 year old so i'm like wow because like y'all i thought that she was always woods you know boo because i believe that they were childhood sweethearts and here we are all these years later so y'all just comment your thoughts down below and just let me know what y'all think about the whole peach situation miss treacy i think her channel is at treacy's world and just the situation with the young ladies y'all let me know your thoughts and what do y'all think is gonna happen next because there's always something because first it was wood now it's her mama and now it's the brother and sister so who's gonna be next so y'all we just gonna see so as always be blessed and never stress and i will see you in my next video bye